Hi, I'm David the Bruce, and this is Jungle Queens, and today we're taking a look at a very interesting serial. Now, the Jungle Queens, sometimes they were movies, but more times than not, they were serial. So, you know, you'd have to see them over a number of weeks. Every time you went to the theater, you'd see 20 minutes, and it ended with a cliffhanger, so you would have to come back the following week to see the rest. Pretty clever, huh? And Jungle Queen movies were all the rage at the time. And uh, it was, uh, you know, they happened because there was emerging sort of kind of out of the sexist, racist culture, this whole idea of independent women, that women aren't necessarily defined by being a, a wife and a mother at home doing house cleaning and oh, making meals and all that. that that there was uh, uh, something more than that in life for women. And so Jungle Queens were the um, uh, sort of addressing that and looking at it, but at a safe distance over in Africa. <laughs> but anyway, what you're going to see here, some critics have called the best, the very best of the Jungle Queen serials. This is it. And uh, I got to tell you that it is like over four hours long. If you take all the cereals and put them together, you come out with a, a over four hours of, of film. So what I've done is I've taken it and I've uh, put them together and then divided it into uh, three parts. And in each part, there's a number of, of episodes. So I didn't, I didn't want to do just the episodes because, boy, that would take for a long time, right? This was one of the longest-running serials. So, uh, and I didn't want to string them all together. Who's going to sit there for over four hours watching this thing? So I did it in three segments. So uh, you're going to see the same intro with me introing in each of the three. And you are in for a very fun ride. Pay attention to the side because over on the side I have put factoids about um, Kay Aldrich, the amazing actress uh, who does this, a little bit about her, some of the a photo gallery, also about uh, Jungle Queens, the comic book craze at the time. Oh, there's just so many things you need to know and I've put that over on the side so that you can kind of follow along. I hope it's not too distracting. but. There it is. You're going to have, you're going to know more than you ever thought you needed to know by the time these three have run their course. Ah, oh, man, we've got a lot to do. Okay, so there you go. I'm David the Bruce. Enjoy. I'm Torino, friend of Volturas. Gracious Voltura has told me to obey your orders, Effendi. Where is the Campbell expedition? There. Two of them stand before their accursed house. Pooh! <laughs> Oh, 
Buongiorno, signore. I'm looking for Professor Campbell. I'm Douglas Campbell. Count Benito Torini of the Italian Colonial Secretariat. I am ordered to escort your expedition to the Italian mandated territory. You're most welcome, Count Torini. We've been expecting you. This is my associate in ancient languages, Mr. John Spencer. Senor, how do you do? My government tells me you are seeking the legendary tablets of Hippocrates. Not legendary. The tablets exist together with other treasures of great value. The papyrus left by Hippocrates himself describes the actual hiding place of the tablets. Then you have the papyrus? No, no, it's, it's being brought here from a Coptic monastery in Ethiopia. We were hoping you might have some news of the men who are bringing it. Dr. Grayson and Major Reynolds. Professor Campbell, Doc and the Major coming. Hey, I've got the papyrus, right here. Splendid, splendid. Red, take the horses. Yes, sir. Oh, Dr. Grayson, Major Reynolds, Count Torini. Doctor, how do you do? You know, how do you do, sir? See what you can make out of it, Spencer. Oh, yes, of course. Gentlemen, I'm, I'm afraid I can't translate this papyrus. In modern times, only one man ever completely mastered the ancient Assyrian in which this is written. That man was Henry Gordon. Gordon's dead. We're not certain of that, Spencer. His daughter, Nyoka, never admitted his death. You were a member of his expedition, and you believe he's dead, don't you? Well, I am not sure. You see, I was wounded in the early part of the attack. But I contacted Nyoka some months later through friendly Bedouins, and she told me then that she would never leave the desert until she had found her father, or had conclusive proof of his death. But the papyrus is no use to us without Gordon to translate it. It may be. Nyoka Gordon was thoroughly schooled by her father. She'll translate the papyrus for us. Your pardon, gentlemen. But is this papyrus so vastly important? It's the key to the greatest secret of the ancients, the golden tablets of Hippocrates. And these tablets are of gold, you say? Yes. Their commercial value is large, to say nothing of the huge treasures buried with them. But their real worth is their great value to humanity. Spoken like a true physician, Dr. Grayson. Engraved on the Hippocratic tablets is the secret of the only cure for cancer the world has ever known. Why don't we ask Nyoka Gordon to come here and translate the papyrus? By all means. I'll send Ibrahim with a message to have her come here at once, gentlemen. I must send a message to Voltura at once. Here are the wings for your message. Answer the summons. From Torini. Read it. The Campbell expedition has the papyrus, and he's awaiting Nyoka Gordon, who alone can translate it. You must act quickly, Torini. If this is true, it is fortunate indeed, Maghreb, that you didn't kill this Nyoka, as I ordered a few months ago. She's the only one who can lead us to the treasure of Hippocrates. Order my horses. My cape. humble huddle of tents, gracious one. Confidential matter, Cassid. Let's go into your tent.
refreshments, gracious one? We haven't time. Get your men together. Nyoka Gordon must be captured at once. Why, Voltura? She's of no interest to us. Does it interest you to know that she holds the secret of the treasure her father hoped to find? The riches of Hippocrates? None other. Move quickly, I tell you. Come, Satan. Danger may lurk in this cave on Nyoka. Let me send men with you. Satan could crush a dozen men. He'll protect me. You keep Nyoka's Bedouins away from the cave. We'll do the rest. It's Cassie and his desert dogs. Where's Nyoka? She rode out in the early morning. <laughs> Secure. Volturo may have need of her when she returns with the papyrus. Volturo. Don't use that name, Torini. Here, I'm Nyoka. No wonder you rule the desert. You're always right. But. There's trouble ahead. With the expedition, there's a Major Reynolds who knows Nyoka. Does anyone else know her? No, I'm certain he's the only one. Then arrange for me to meet him first. Alone. You can silence him unaided? Easily. A poison needle brings death swifter than a bullet. If you'll be in front of their quarters in five minutes, I'll see that the Major is there to greet you. Nyoka. Why, you don't look like... Why, I don't recognize you. Perhaps I've changed since you saw me last. It's nice to see you again. Well, that the stone in your ring is sharp. For a purpose, Major. The hurt won't trouble you at all. It may be absurd, but I feel faint. Won't you sit down? Thank you. You feel as though you were dying. Perhaps death is the message I bring you. That's a silly thing to say. Ah! Yeah, what? 
That's the trouble here, Major. 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 Is he dead? Yes. Heart attack, I'd say. May I ask who you are? I'm Nyoka. Nyoka Gordon. This is terrible. It is Nyoka's. Early Fang leads us on a true trail. You stay here and guard the white girl. We ride to set the ambush. Let her escape and you will find death a pleasant relief from your punishment. Come. Stop Kassib's men. They go to attack white friends of mine on the Wadi Batha road. Yes, Sahiba. Go home, Bang. Go home. The signal. Remember, Voltura and the Italian Torini must not be harmed.
You stay with them. I want to know their plans. Cursed Nyoka, what evil spirit brought her here? Who's that new bunch? Looks like they're on our side. They're shooting at the Arabs at Ambersus. Baltura, Allah be praised. Come, I have the papyrus. I crawled away to get more ammunition. When I returned, the professor was unconscious and she was gone. And the papyrus with her. That's a shame. I've always felt that the papyrus would give me a definite clue to my father. I know he isn't dead. What do you think Voltura's next move will be? To take the papyrus to her temple and have it translated if she can. Would it be possible to attack their temple and recover it? The place is too well manned and fortified. However, one or two people might be able to sneak in. You and I can do it. Oh, I say you can't do that. I have a hunch we can. The expedition is stuck here until Red can patch up that tire. But Nyoka and I can carry on. Dr. Grayson is right, Professor. Abu can show you back to my camp. Your mechanic can bring the car in later. Let's get at it. Those guns. Tie him up, Nyoka. I'm sorry about your robot. As I have said before, it's in a strange tongue and beyond even my power to translate it. But Nyoka knows, and those imbeciles allowed her to escape. Answer the summons. We'll take that papyrus. Get it, Nyoka.
Rebecca. Help me. Find them, Voltura. They've escaped. Nyoka mustn't escape. Without her, we can never find the treasure. Order my chariot. I'm going to Cassib's camp. At once, gracious one. My cape. I must get my hands on that girl. She's probably in her cave with the professor's expedition. It would be silly indeed to attack their camp. Yes, I know. I have a scheme to outwit them. Send Ahmed to their camp with a flag of truce. He will tell them that you have sent him to... is a follower of Cassib, the jackal of Voltura. He says he is the bearer of a message. A message? What is it? My master, Cassib, has sent me to ask if you wish to buy the papyrus, which gives directions for finding the golden tablets of Hippocrates. What? Cassib has the papyrus? Yes. Since the attempt to take it from the temple, Voltura saw fit to give it to him to guard. But Cassib tires of being servant to Voltura. He will sell the papyrus for a thousand lira. If one of your men will bring the money and come with me to the wadi of red stones, the papyrus will be handed over to him. A thousand lira is cheap enough for the key to the greatest medical knowledge in all history. But how can we be sure this offer is legitimate? I think it is. I know these natives. Kassab would probably sell out his own brother for a thousand lira. I'm willing to act as emissary myself. I believe it's safe enough. Of course, they might be trying to sell us a spurious document. I'm not sure I could recognize the real papyrus. Now, if someone who understood the language were... I'll go with you. I don't like it, Nyoka. This might be a trap. I'll risk that. Remember, I'm more interested than any of you in finding the tablets. They're the only clue I have for locating my father. Abu, saddle two horses and lock up Fang so that he can't follow us. Yes, Sahiba. Are you sure your man will be there? Yes, Sahiba, he will be there. Remain on guard here.
You are to come with us, Ahiba. If you come quietly, no harm will befall you. Get down. Don't shoot. Volturo wants to take an unharmed. would take any chance if she thought it would help her find her father. Magnificent character. Indomitable spirit. Well, what he means is that Nyoka gal's got plenty of moxie jitters. Moxie? Well, I'm going to go after her. treachery. Two men ambushed us and our guide took my gun and horse. Where's Nyoka? I don't know. She broke away and they rode after her. Which way'd they go? Well, I don't know. Never mind. Fang can trail them. Find Nyoka, Fang. yourself a lot of pain. All I ask is that you translate this papyrus. I've already given you my answer. Very well.
All right. Untie her. take some time for me to figure this out. But not too long or I'll have you stretched out on that rack again.
Dr. Grayson. They have returned safely. Well, well, see, we've been worried about you. Yeah, what happened, Larry? Where have you been? The whole thing was an Arab trick. Volturo wanted Ioka to translate the papyrus. Horini told us about that. Volturo won't need me now. I've got the papyrus. You have? Great, let's see. Yeah. Papyrus? Hey, 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 can you read it? What does it say? Do you think you can translate it, Ioka? Yes. The first section tells of the golden tablets of Hippocrates on which are inscribed medical secrets, including the cure for a dread disease. That undoubtedly refers to cancer. When Egypt was conquered by the Romans, these tablets, together with a vast store of treasure, were removed and hidden away. Does it say where? Not exactly, but it tells a way to find out. We must go to the lair of the eagles. After penetrating to its far end, you will come to the Tunnel of Bubbling Death. Tunnel of Bubbling Death. Weird sort of name, isn't it? Passing through this tunnel, you will then reach the ancient valley of the Toregs. Toregs? Originally, they were cave dwellers. Within the Toreg caves, there is an inscription which will point the way to the golden tablets of Hippocrates. And the priceless medical knowledge to aid humanity. Of a certainty, Doctor. But many dangers lie ahead of us. When can we leave Torini? Why, uh, I must go to Wadi Bartha to send a message to my government first. Uh, merely a routine matter. You can be back by noon? Almost certainly. Fine, we'll be ready and waiting for you. Find out, Torini. Nyoka has translated the papyrus. It directs us through the lair of the eagles, where a mysterious tunnel runs into the valley of the Toregs. I've heard about the tunnel in that valley. But what about the tablets and the treasure? In the caves of the Toregs, there's an inscription that will reveal the secret. When does the expedition leave? At noon. You must act quickly. Yes, Torini. Return to them at once before they become suspicious. Margaret. No one is going to touch that treasure except me. Cassid must stop the expedition before it reaches the tunnel. Ride to his village and tell him that... Take your post here while we ride ahead and see that the Italian Torini is not harmed. Some of the boys and change that tire. Okay. Cassib and some of his men may be planning trouble for us at the bridge. Yeah, that's right. You and I'd better ride ahead and look the situation over. We'll meet the rest of your boys at the bridge. Right.
Beyond that bridge lies the lair of the eagles. We'll leave the horses here. River, Tala, some of the infidel dogs may escape and attempt to follow us. After we cross, destroy the bridge and return with the horses to the camp. Come. Catsup knows about the tunnel. We better get there as fast as we can. Come, we have lost much time. You remain here on guard. Tunnel of bubbling death. How do we get through to the Torek Valley? There are three passages. Let us each take one and see where they lead.
before he reaches the Torek Valley. Right. This seems to be the tunnel described in the papyrus. We'll wait here for the infidels. Tell me, I'm certain you have discovered the tribe of Toreg sun worshippers still living in the Lost Valley. The sun goddess. She once ruled the Toregs, and according to legend, she is eternally young. Her people conquered the world. They rode over the land, slaying and plundering, until Al and his wrath caused the mountains to fall in on them, destroying all but a few survivors in the Lost Valley. Do you want us to attack their stronghold? No. But if the sun goddess were to appear before them today, who could deny her claim to rule? The gracious one is wise. I'll make arrangements for our departure immediately. Come in, Loba. Thank you, Master. Did you bring me the stones that make fire? Warriors bringing fire stones. Good. Valley of the Toregs. How still and deserted it seems. Like the Valley of the Dead, isn't it? We've seen no signs of Kassib. We should leave Abu and the Bedouins here to keep watch. That's a splendid idea. They can prevent any attack from the rear. I'll explain to Abu. Infidels are in the valley. Summon the warriors. Bring those grenades. Hey! The presence of strangers in our valley is a bad omen. No longer will we have peace and happiness. They must be driven out. Go!
I'll try to hold him back. You go on. Barricade. We can dig in here and hold them off indefinitely. We cannot prevail against their weapons. We'll have to wait till nightfall. I wonder if we could talk to their chief under a flag of truce. That's not a bad idea. We can try. It may be dangerous business, but it's our only chance to get out of here. Yeah, that's right. You now make the attempt, Professor. Red, pick up a flag of truce. Larry, I want to go along. Maybe I can learn something about my father. You're too valuable to the expedition to take any risks. You'd better stay here. They want to talk. Come. We are friends. We want no strangers in our midst. The sun goddess. I'm returning to my people in their hour of need. Our troubles are many. Take me to your master. I tell you, Saidi, the sun goddess is only a legend. Please, Master. My eyes do not deceive me. Where is she? In the assembly room. Very well. Infidel. What is the meaning of this? These infidels have killed many to learn the secret our people have held sacred through the ages. They forced their way into our valley to steal the sacred golden tablets. 
inscribed by our ancient chiefs. For that crime, they must die. Seize them.
chief of the Toregs. Where is the sacred inscription that tells of the hidden tablets of Hippocrates? Speak, mortal. As your sun goddess, I am here to protect the inscription from these mad infidels who invade your valley. A costume does not make a goddess. This presumptuous fool dares doubt me. How can I know that you speak the truth? How can I convince my people that you are not bent upon desecrating the treasures of the temple at the cost of bloodshed? How can... Seize him! You don't dare! Lock him in his laboratory. But will they not miss him? The Torigs believe I am their sun goddess. I can tell them that he wishes to work in solitude on his experiments. Hurry! <laughs> O oh, goddess of the sun, my men have been driven back. Fear not. I will call down the wrath of our great fire god upon our enemies. Prepare the ceremony. invader can remain in your sacred valley alive. Silence! Silence! But how can we be sure that your fire guard will triumph over the weapons of the infidel? What good is the weapon of the sleeping hunter when the silent leopard springs? She speaks words of wisdom. Come! As soon as they're safely away, we'll go back to the chief and force him to tell us where the inscription is hidden.
the inscription room is behind a lion statue in a Toreg cave corridor. This is my chance to get it. But, Senorina, alone they'll kill you. Most of the Toregs have joined the attack. If I can get past them, I'll be safe. The risk is too great. You're too important to our expedition. But I must find my father, and the inscription may lead me to him. Well, I'm sorry. It's too dangerous. Here, I'm going to try to get to the cave. Cover me. What's the hebo? You shouldn't have let her go. What's going on here? This fool allowed the girl to disobey Professor Campbell. She's trying to sneak through those insane savages to the caves. But, Sahib, she would not listen to me. What nerve. We can't let her be killed. You stay here and keep the Torags busy. I'm going after her. There's nothing in the lower caves. We must not fail. Come, we'll search all the passages on this level. Not yet. She may lead us to that inscription. Thank you. 